welcome all the research scholars to IGCAN, an international journal of commerce and management studies, which is an online peer review, open access and indexed journal, especially for the intellectual in the areas of commerce, management, social science and humanities. This particular journal is having an impact factor of 3.015 and it is indexed with most of the repositories namely Google Scholar, ResearchGate, Mendeley, Academia.edu. On behalf of IJCAM, I welcome all of you and today we are going to discuss on a very important topic related to PhD, how to prepare a synopsis that to an effective synopsis which is readily acceptable by the research recognition committee of any university and in any stream. Let us go to the basics of what exactly is synopsis all about. Synopsis is nothing but a blueprint of your research. It is a planning of how you are going to do the research, how you are going to prepare your thesis for final submission. This is just a planning, this is just a blueprint where you put all your ideas together so that you have a direction in future. So coming to the first question which often comes to the researcher or all the research scholar is, is there a set format for PhD? The answer is definitely no. There is no thumb rule or set format as such, but you have to follow few important points which we'll be discussing. These points will come in almost all the synopsis. But the format may be suggested by the academic institution where you are registered or from where you are doing your PhD. Now, these are important points which you should follow. That is title of the research or thesis. Introduction shall be uh, roughly uh, in two or three pages. Literature review, which again form a very important part of any research. Objectives of your work and hypothesis. Methodology or your work plan. Bibliography, limitations. These are all important points. Let us straight away go to the guidelines given by National Co Law College. Uh, this is National Law University Delhi. These are the guidelines given by this particular university. Now, what does this guideline says? The guidelines for writing PhD synopsis. Obviously, all the synopsis will be having a cover page with the title, name of the student, name of the supervisor, year when you are going to submit it, name of the research center, and the second page is most of the cases is going to be table of content. What is the structure of project report or synopsis? You always start with the introduction, which usually is of two to three pages. Here you give the background and introduce the subject in few pages. Here in the introduction itself, you can put review of literature or you can have a separate point for this, which usually is about three to five pages or it depends on what sort of research you want to take. Second important point is statement of problem. This is very important. If you are not able to define the problem area or the problem question or the question of the research, then probably the, your entire research is going to go in a wrong direction. So the first and most important point is defining the title title of the uh, thesis and then straight away going discussing about after reviewing the literature discussing about the statement of problem problem area problem definition it is it is uh, uh, many name, names are given to this particular thing conceptual framework also we can discuss over here and after that methodology which forms the heart or the core of any research thesis or research work here you have to define your objectives clearly preferably not more than five Many students, they make a mistake of defining 10 or 15 objectives, which is not at all correct. In fact, your objective should be directly correlated to the title of your research. In case if you have any doubt, confusion, always refer to the title. And from that title, try to take out four to five objectives. That is what is an ideal uh, size or number for any objectives to be framed. Hypothesis. Hypothesis is again very important, which is again related to your objectives one each from all the objectives so in, in case you are having five objectives you will be having five hypotheses or research question sample size sampling techniques will be coming in detail about this data collection what are the methods of primary data collection whether it's going to be through questionnaire through participation observation through interview schedule through case studies this all this thing you have to discuss in fact we'll be discussing few of the sample synopsis which our student has already submitted the statistical consideration or soft app software application you are going to use or statistical tool you are going to use to analyze this primary data secondary data collection again you have to mention about all this thing here this is more from the law point of view but again this remains there common for almost all the research including social science humanities commerce management and the second last part is data analysis and discussion 
and then chapter scheme chapter scheme or work plan also you have to give it separately i'll be showing you one sample synopsis straight away let us go to one of the sample synopsis prepared by one of our student this is synopsis the title he uh, used at that point of time because this study was done in the year uh, 2012 and 2017 it was an empirical study of impact of mobile marketing in india a special focus on increasing number of e-commerce companies in mumbai region so this is how the synopsis looks like ideally it should not go more than 20 25 pages which i feel is more than sufficient this is the first page in fact this is the cover page and then straight away we can go to the first page here we have again mentioned the title of research work this is stated over here then you introduce to the your topic or the title which you have given there problem definition as i said earlier problem definition is it's a very very important and crucial area where you have to clearly define what exactly you are going to study in case if there is no problem then the question of doing the research do not arrive so you have to have a good and concrete research question frame so this this part you can discuss about that objective of study as i said four to five objectives are more than sufficient after that you have scope you can mention what exactly is the scope of the study and after discussing on this you can go to the conceptual framework which is mentioned here then uh, what exactly is the concept you are talking about what are the ideas you would like to discuss then hypothesis again four hypothesis related to four objectives so this this you have to keep in mind no more than uh, the objectives which you have framed similar type of hypothesis will also go with with almost all the objectives research methodology as i said this is a heart of any research so here we will be discussing about research design then data collection in, in detail data analysis which techniques you are going to use for analyzing the data sampling here sub topics could be sampling technique sampling frame here uh, the researcher has used convenient sampling technique then sampling frame what exactly will be your sampling frame sampling tools what are the tools of data collection you are going to use limitations of your study you can discuss over here uh, it can be uh, four to five again not more than that don't go beyond that because if you give more limitations then obviously it shows that you are not intending to do a unbiased study action plan this is again you have to mention in the synopsis which earlier was 24 months for phd now it is 36 months that is 3 years you are supposed to undertake the research work and this is how you can frame it in fact i'll be posting uh, the link for downloading this synopsis from the video or from the blog spot which is already there and if you have any queries doubt you can post it in the comment box also uh, we'll be replying to all the queries and doubts all the questions which you are going to raise so this is how you are to supposed to put down your activities detail out the works you are going to take and the tenure how you are going to do it and chapter scheme chapter scheme again you have to visualize and find out how will your chapter look like when you are going to submit the synopsis final synopsis and finally the references this references are nothing but what is synopsis it are not the final references which will go you and your thesis these are the references which the researcher has used for preparing this synopsis now apart from this again we have plenty of synopsis this is again one of the title by one of the research scholar empirical study of impact of leadership on entrepreneurship and small business this was done by uh, mr rahul badicher and uh, he has again prepared it on similar line so apart from this we do have uh, synopsis for mba also see more or less the framework remains same there is no thumb rule as i said earlier but the titles or the sequence is going to remain what we are discussing right now so apart from this as i said uh, this is again this is uh, will be uh, making a separate video on how to prepare the thesis once your synopsis is accepted by the concern institution research institution then you will be starting with your a research work and you will be preparing your research thesis which we are going to cover in our next video including how to how the certificate will look like the declaration the acknowledgement how to write about it list of abbreviations this all this thing will be discussing then this is again chapterization which we have this research scholar has earlier mentioned in his uh, scheme of synopsis synopsis is already chapter scheme we have talked about so this here while submitting the thesis or the finalizing the work he has prepared this table of content including certificate declaration acknowledgement list of abbreviation used so this is the detailed table of content or chapter scheme we can call it here he has given introduction review of literature then problem definition these are the chapters which he has mentioned then 
uh, problem definition as i said then gap analysis based on the literature review scope of the study rationale of the study conceptual framework objectives of studies and hypothesis for validation research methodology data analysis and interpretation he has used anova a bar chart cross tab for analyzing the data and he has done it very very rigorously and very intensively limitation he has mentioned here the final chapter is discussion and conclusion and in the references he has segregated it into books guide lines and best practices educational documents journals website and in appendix which is not at all a chapter which again uh, many research scholar do a mistake of mentioning this as a chapter this is not a chapter this even reference is not a chapter so in annex chapter you can put each and everything which you feel or annex is also called as appendix also at the time uh, here you can put all the questionnaires which you have designed and uh, this will be discussing in detail how to go about preparing the final thesis so this is all about this synopsis guidelines for preparing the synopsis format for synopsis so in case if you have any doubt you can directly write to us you can put it in, uh, put your comments in the comment box we'll be replying to you all of you as we said earlier Thank you all for watching this video do share and subscribe to this channel thank you very much